What's up, you guys? It's Zach Jack Dan back with another Every TMNT. This time we're talking about every NECA cartoon TMNT or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And thus far, these have all been released at Target. So these are the Target exclusive turtles that we have been seeing from NECA. The first wave we got had four different two packs. We had Donnie with uh, Krang in his little tiny android body or robot body so he could walk around. You had Shredder with Leonardo. Michelangelo with a foot soldier. And Raphael with another foot soldier. This is the second series that Target gave us. And again, there were four different two packs. They gave us the Turtles again and Foot Soldiers again. So the only difference is that we got Bebop and Rocksteady this time. So in the two pack, we got Leo and Donatello. Raph and Mikey. Foot Soldiers together. And here's that Bebop and Rocksteady. And also, this was not part of any of the two previous series, but they did release this as a Target exclusive as well. Kind of a re-release of the Krang and Shredder, but putting them together this time instead of being separate. That's awesome that they provided this uh, box set to us here. So coming out in Series 3, we haven't seen them in the boxes yet, but we will be getting April O'Neil and Casey Jones. We'll also be getting Slash and Leatherhead. So the Casey Jones is going to be coming with a slashed foot soldier. The April O'Neil will be coming with a bashed foot soldier. So here they are loose. And also we will be getting a metal head. Uh, I think he will be single carded and we will be getting triceratons. Not sure exactly how they're going to be released yet. We will also be getting General Trag, the Krang in his Android body, and that's going to be also a single carded. And we're going to get Granitor. So I'm thinking Granitor and General Trag will probably be a two pack. There's also a little kid shredder there that's probably going to be coming with Krang's Android body. There's Splinter, we have uh, been announced now that we're getting as well. Here's what they showed us off at Toy Fair 2020. We we're also beginning a Baxter Stockman in his fly form. There he is a little closer. So I'm not sure how that's going to come to it. Is that's going to be a Shredder or Baxter 2-pack? I'm not sure. And then you see we have two more Triceratons. So the green one is Zog, orange is Zeno, and yellow is Captain Zorax, from what I can recall. There they are a little bit closer. So here's all of them minus the ones that just showed up at the Toy Fair. So no Splinter, no Baxter, and no Triceratons. Also no Metalhead, but this is what I have seen for promotional art so far. So if you notice the difference in the turtles, you have a lighter green turtle with the newer wave and a darker green turtle with the original wave. There's all the box sets so far. And this was the SDCC 2017 box set. A little bit closer up. And NECA has also provided us with street, di street scene dioramas which are pretty amazing um, that they're giving us this. They're, they're one step ahead of everybody else in the market with the fact that they're giving us this diorama. I wish Hasbro would take some notes here and put out some street dioramas for the Spider-Man stuff and uh, maybe, you know, X-Men Mansion diorama. I think that'd be amazing. 
There's what it looks like with the turtles actually on it. So NECA has also taken over the licensing and bought out Loot Crate. And so there are some crates that are being released. These are the actual cartoon versions here uh, of the Rocksteady. Not sure what the figure and the packaging is going to look at, like yet on this guy. But you, if you buy all three crates, which the first crate was a Shredder comic book Y, second was a probably an April O'Neil in the arcade version. Not really sure what this Bebop and Bunny suit is going to be, but if you buy all three crates, you get this Bebop in a Bunny suit. So it could be the comic version in the middle there. It could be a arcade version with him in a pink costume. Not 100% sure. So as the most wanted list for the cartoon-based Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles neck is making, I'd love to see Rat King, uh, Wingnut, and Screw Loose. That'd be a pretty cool one to make. And also Ground Chuck and Dirtbag. I think those would be my next ones I'd love to see NECA try to tackle. But kind of looking back on the Mutant Mayhem of what some people have called the top 20, just check these out and see what else we could uh, possibly get in the future. Uh, the ones that stick out to me on this page are Scumbag and Napoleon Bonafrog. I think those look pretty awesome. And then from 12 to 1, I've already mentioned Ground Chuck and Dirtbag. Uh, I think that Muck Man and Mutagen Man would probably be my next two uh, that I'd love to see. What you guys think? So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave any kind of comments. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the thumbs up. I'll talk to you guys later. And guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.